do you know what's on top of this this peak? I reach the first and the second rock. The third one, I've never been there. To reach this elusive third pinnacle, we're relying on Leo's world-class climbing skills. That looks incredibly loose. I'm no archaeologist, but it looks to me like this bit's eroded away quite significantly. I would suggest we rope up now. This ascent is beyond most climbers' limits, so Ahmed and the rest of the team are staying behind. Every time I end up climbing anything with Leo, at the end, I say to myself, I'm never doing that again, because I've been frightened silly. And yet, somehow here we are. We don't normally have yeah. 3,000 year old ruins at the end of the day though, do we Steve? No, but there's, there's an extra added element. You've also got to be careful because what you're touching is history and you could destroy something of absolute significance. Yeah, remind me of that if, uh, if you see anything because I'm going to be focused on getting us up there as safely as possible. We'll keep Ahmed across everything we find over the radio. Good luck and thank you so much. And thank you for giving us the great privilege of doing this. Let's do it. All right, so just watch out. I'm just gonna do a rock test to see how loose it is. Yeah, that's loose. Climbing alongside Leo and me is ropes expert Aldo Kane. First impressions? It's hollow, <laughs> very hollow. And it's quite difficult to trust. There's a lot of loose ones here. There's that tense moment before you start anything like this of focusing your mind, trying to think about all the simple tasks of making sure that you've got everything in place that you need. And having seen Leo, one of the best climbers in the world, going up that gingerly. I'd be lying if I wasn't a little bit on edge already. With Leo safely on the first ledge, it's my turn. <laughs> oh, wow! That is amazing! You wait till you see this. Is that all carved out above you and behind you? Yeah. Yeah, the whole thing, the whole face. Unraveling the mysteries of these rocks will take archaeologists years. This mountain is a sacred place for, for the Danite. They have many secrets still uh, hidden. They don't want anyone to reach it. 30 meters up, we've reached the start of a long carved staircase. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> All right, go on, let's go, let's go! <laughs> that is one very, very excited Leo Holden. <laughs> <laughs> on each step, there are chisel marks still visible. We're walking in the footsteps of the ancients. It's the stairway to heaven. Oh, this is the top of the first one. From here, the route gets tougher. We must cross the first stone bridge to access the second pinnacle, but the rocks have crumbled away. Leo crosses first to secure a safety rope. Ready, Steve? Ready, mate. Okay. From the bridge, we can see our next hurdle. We've got a traverse here, which is almost impossible to protect. So the only thing to really do is just go for it and just walk and try and not think of quite how far down it is. Walk of that. Nice work. With the traverse behind us, 
we can now head to the top of the second pinnacle. Ooh, hello. We've got an obstacle, boys. Pretty serious one. <laughs> 